package came in today. Also, as hard as it's going to be, try to ignore my uh, my gravelly Batman voice. I lost my voice over the weekend, and uh, long story short, occasionally I just completely lose my voice for no reason whatsoever. If I don't get sick or nothing like that, it just, it just goes. Um, so anyway, I'm recovering from that, trying to get it back. I can't really delay this video. It's one of those time sensitive videos that kind of has to be done. I've been putting it off as much as I possibly could to the last minute. Now I only have like two days left, so uh, kind of got to do it now. Back to this. So I got a package in today from Bay Photos, which is always exciting when you get a package from Bay's Photos. Um, not sponsored, although they should probably should be. Maybe I should reach out. What do you think? Anyway, let's check it out. Upside down. That turned out awesome. Oh man, that actually turned out better than I expected. That is so cool. She's gonna love this. That is so awesome. That turned out so good. I love the contrast and the depth in this. There's just nothing like having your images printed. They just, they don't look the same as they do in, on the screen, you know, when, they, when you, you actually print something out, it just it has a different look to it. It's just, it has more dimension to it. I don't know what the, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just because it's tangible. It just looks so much cooler than it does. I don't care. I've got a 5K monitor. It doesn't look anywhere near as awesome on there as it does here. This is awesome. Really, really like how this turned out. New background, what do you guys think? I uh, decided to switch things up a little bit. I've been planning on using this, haven't used it in my uh, any of my vlog episodes yet. So uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So a couple of weeks ago, Peter McKinnon uh, released a video called The Gift of Photography. And in that video, um, he received a gift from a good friend, Jared Poland from Frono's Photos. Yo, this is sick. It was a photo that Jared took of Peter uh, doing one of his speeches, and it was very special to him. And he had uh, printed out this huge uh, metal print and uh, sent it to Peter as a gift. And it was a very special episode of Peter, and, I, and it really moved me. And at the end of his uh, of that episode, uh, Peter McKinnon challenges his viewers to uh, give the gift of photography. My challenge to you is to find one person between now and next month, this time next month, to give the gift of photography to. And so I not only wanted to accept that challenge, but I wanted to give a little backstory because it is a very special um, image. It's one that I took recently, uh, but there's a lot of backstory to it. There's a reason, a specific reason why I wanted to give this particular photo to uh, this particular person, which is my wife, my, my beautiful, amazing, supportive wife. Uh, so a little backstory on her. When we first got married, uh, we, we didn't have very much money. We were living in a rental house and uh, we had our first son and he was uh, about a year old. And um, as our family started to grow, uh, she wanted to start getting some decent photos of the uh, of our kids as they start growing up. Uh, something other than just snapshots from a cell phone or something and um, feed, but we both also understood that uh, we just didn't have very much money and that cameras were extremely expensive. Good cameras. Good cameras were extremely expensive. And so she told me she wanted me to get uh, a decent camera and start taking nice pictures of our kids. And I was the one that kind of put my foot down and said, look, we, as much as I want to get a really nice camera, um, we just don't have very much money right now. And um, I would feel kind of selfish, you know, spending that kind of money on me, <laughs> which, which really wasn't spending on me because she wanted pictures of our kids. So long story short, she bought me a camera for, um, for my birthday, which was just around the corner after, you know, about a month after she told me she, she started, you know, telling me she wanted pictures of the kids. And that, that camera, uh, which is a camera I still have today, 
uh, that I still use today for backup. It's actually the one I'm using when I vlog. Uh, really uh, just skyrocketed in my, my career as a uh, photographer. Um, I started taking pictures of this thing, playing around with it, and I just became obsessed with it. And it became so much bigger than either one of us ever expected it to become. Um, it just kind of unleashed this beast inside. <laughs> I just, I couldn't, I couldn't put it down. I just had so much fun with it. And so as my photography career continued to expand and grow, uh, everybody's seeing this and giving me a lot of attention for it. Uh, and I always felt kind of bad because she's sort of the unsung hero in my photography business. And so I wanted to give back to her and, and just show her my, my appreciation for that. And, and, and she's also a very self-conscious person, so she doesn't let me take very many pictures of her. So every now and then she'll let me uh, get her dressed up and plan out a little shoot with her and I'll take some pictures. And, uh, and sometimes she even lets me uh, show people those pictures. <laughs> And so my gift of photography is to her. I want to take a picture of her um, that we took recently that uh, I really love and she really loves and I'm going to print it out and give it to her. And so it means a lot to me to, uh, to give her this, um, just to show her my appreciation and, to, and also just to have something tangible, something that we can hang on our wall and look at. Um, just, I just don't, we don't print out many photos. I don't have very many uh, actual images of my photography printed out. Um, I take so many photos, it's so hard to know uh, which one to print out. And so uh, I just get overwhelmed uh, and I print some out of the kids here and there. I really like to print out some more. And so Peter, I just wanna thank you. If, you, if you're somehow watching this, uh, I wanna thank you for, for challenging us, uh, for challenging me uh, to print something out because this, this is not something just for her, it's for me uh, that we can look at every day. And and I'm uh, super excited about it. It turned out amazing. Um, it's, in fact, it's so good. I couldn't just go out and buy uh, a frame for it. I'm gonna custom make one. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys with me to the shop. I wanna make something that really kind of adds to the image that, that, that just really just makes it jump out even more. Uh, and I couldn't find something like that in the store. Um, so we're gonna go out and make one. So let's go ahead and go out to my wood shop and see what we can uh, put together. So my workshop is over here in the backyard behind the studio. And here's the thing about the workshop. Hey, we should get some drone footage of the shop. So here's the thing about the workshop. <clears throat> With all the other projects that I've got going on, uh, it doesn't get very much attention. I'm not in here very often, um, once or twice a year sometimes. I've got so many other things going on at the studio and the farm and work and uh, the photography business. Um, it doesn't get a whole lot of care. Um, so when I go in there and do a project, I just kind of go in and come out. Uh, not a whole lot gets, you know what, forget it. Forget about the excuses. Here we go. So here's an idea. I think we're just gonna cover up all these windows <coughs> and uh, put some controlled lighting in here so you don't have to see all this. <laughs> let's try that, yeah, let's do that. Ah, there we go. That's a little bit better. All right, so now this looks more like a studio setup. I'm gonna clean some things up here in a little bit, clean off my workstation here, and start building it. All right, I don't know if you see me from here, but I got two boards that I can build this out of. I'm gonna build this out of cherry, and these boards are just barely long enough, and I'm not quite sure there's gonna be enough. I think there will be enough, but if I make any error whatsoever, uh, there won't be enough to restart. I'll have to start a different type of species, uh, but I really want to do it out of cherry, uh, and we'll just see how this turns out. 
Really the only tool that I have that I'm gonna to use to build that with is this table saw. So I'm gonna to have to build a jig uh, to do all of the kind of cuts that I want to do because my miter saw is off a little bit. So if I cut those 40 degree angles, they're not gonna to fit together at a perfect 90. They're gonna be off slightly. So I'm gonna to try to build a jig and do it with a square on the table saw. Now he's gonna put the picture in there, uh, put it back on it. So let's go ahead and do that. I had the local hardware store uh, cut out a piece of glass for the, uh, for the frame. I pre-drilled little holes around the edges so I could stick these in to hold the uh, hold the back on. All right, the back's on. It's all put together and it is ready. Oh, it looks so good. All right. Now I just need to get it to her. Can I open it? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
continue what Peter McKinnon started, uh, I also want to challenge you uh, to give the gift of photography. It doesn't have to be uh, anything crazy expensive or big. You don't have to go out and custom build a frame like I did. Um, it can be something simple. It can be just a very simple wall size uh, print. It can be anything. Uh, just, just to do something. It's so tempting to uh, just rack up the images on your hard drive um, because we can store thousands and thousands of them and then they just kind of get forgotten. Um, when I went through uh, some of the images just to make this video, I started finding images that I forgot that I had even taken. And so as tempting as it is to do that, um, go ahead and print something out. It's, it's uh, just so nice to have something tangible, uh, something to have on your wall that you can look at on a daily basis. Uh, so I'd like to continue this challenge to go ahead and print something out and give the gift of photography. Uh, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It actually does help. And uh, subscribe only if you want to. And I, I'm gonna go find a cough drop <coughs> or something because because it's kind of hard to talk right now. So, and again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.